Residents evacuated from their homes after an explosion and fire at a northern Illinois chemical plant will still have to wait some time before they can return. Fox 6's Bill Miston joins us to explain that officials say they need to determine what may be lingering on and around people's homes and how to clean it up safely. Bill joins us live with those details. Good evening, Steph. Fire officials say that fire is under control but still not out and that it will be that it will take some time for that fire to be fully extinguished. And time is money for some people who live and work in the evacuation area surrounding the chem tool plant here in Rockton. No one was injured in the fire that broke out Monday at the industrial grease and lubricant manufacturer, but there will still be some time needed to figure out what might be lingering on and around people's homes. As thick black smoke billowed for more than 24 hours from the chem tool plant, officials saying Wednesday it will be more time before people are allowed back to their homes. Remember, this was a chemical plant. Uh, this was not a house fire. So there are uh, not only the chemicals released from the chemical plant during a fire, but also things we've said it from the first day that are not intended to burn. The chemical composition of that material is unknown. Officials saying crews will be going through the neighborhoods, collecting samples of burned materials, ash, dust, and other particulates. It will be sent off for testing to determine what it is, which will then help provide public guidance for what people can do when they are allowed to return. We don't know what the environmental impact of this particular site is going to be in the next five or ten years. We're not sure, um, but, uh, but time will tell. Air and water monitoring also still ongoing and will be for some time. Carla Bruschi's office is in the evacuation area. We go to grain elevators to sample grain. She and her co-workers using a nearby parking lot as a home base for the time being, but feels for those who are still unable to get into their homes. You know, that's getting costly for them now, and everybody's just wanting to know what's going on, what's going on. You don't know what the fallout's going to be now with all the ash that went blowing through the air and everything that's still in the air. Officials did lift a masking order for people that were in a three mile uh, area from that chem tool plant. Officials also say it may, still may be several days or, or at least a day or so before those test results come back to not only provide further guidance on when people might be able to return to their homes, but what to also expect when they are allowed to return. Reporting in Rockton tonight, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. The Steph. frustration and anxiety, I can only imagine. Bill, thank you.